Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Azure DevOps tutorial series, today let's discuss about scheduled trigger in YAML pipeline. Okay, in one of our previous videos, we discussed about scheduled trigger in the classic UI editor. Following with that, we'll discuss how scheduled trigger works in YAML pipeline. All right. So this is the pipeline that I have created for demo purpose, project online DevOps demo. This is my YAML pipeline. So I'm gonna click on edit. So here, here it is, like we have a sample YAML syntax here, uh, which we have been following, right? So if you have any queries regarding how YAML works and all, I have made a couple of videos earlier in the playlist. I would suggest you to refer that for a basic understanding about how YAML works in uh, Azure pipelines, all right? So here I am. So this is the script we are running. In case if you want to schedule this YAML uh, pipeline, what you can do is you can add something called schedules. You can refer this steps. Okay, you, you can see we have steps, we have strategy, right? Similarly, we have something called schedules. Make to note there is no hyphen here. Okay, under schedules you need you have something called cron. Okay, so this is the one which we have been uh, looking at, right? So this is the one which we looked in our previous video, which will help you understand how cron syntax works in YAML pipeline, right? So we have something called cron, and then you have to provide the cron syntax. Say if you want to run it as a daily midnight build. So what you can do is you can provide zero, zero, triple star. So this syntax will run your daily midnight build, all right? And next is, you can say display name. So can give display name as daily midnight build and then you can say branches on what branches you have to run okay so if you remember our ui editor uh, in the in our previous video di we discussed about the classic ui editor schedule triggers right in uh, there we included and excluded the branches we want to run as part of our build right so similarly in yaml also you can provide that information so here you can go and include okay main so you say if you want to run the main branch only so you can add a syntax like this you are uh, you're specifying a branch and you are including the main branch okay and similarly if you want to exclude anything also you can do it again if you remember our ui editor we had an option to exclude uh, in the UI, right? So similarly, if you want to exclude something also, you can provide this exclude uh, syntax and to provide the branch name that you want to exclude. For now, I do not have this requirement for I am just including this uh, main branch. All right. And there is something that I want you to note. Hold on, sorry. So there is an option called always equal to true. Always true. Okay, you can look, you can look the syntax like it is formatted here, right? So it will be straightly against your branches. Um, when we specify always equal to true, you will run that build irrespective of any changes that is made to your code. Okay, so even if there are no changes, it will run at your schedule time. If you do not specify this always equal to true, it will not run your uh, build. Okay, it makes sense, right? So there are situations where you want to run a weekly build even if there is no change in the code. Okay, so in this kind of situation, you can use this always true property which is very much useful in your uh, real-time projects too. Okay, so this is the basic information about how the scheduled uh, triggers, how, how you can schedule using YAML. Okay, so similarly, you can use many other schedules too. Like uh, here we have a... Um, uh, daily midnight build, right? Similarly, if you want to use a weekly uh, you know, weekend build or weekly you know, Saturday or Sunday or Monday build. Okay, so what you can do is you can provide uh, another syntax similarly like this. You can go and provide another cron. Right, you can provide something like this. So this will again, uh, this should be actually be something like this okay so here it is and this will actually help you in scheduling mul you, you can schedule uh, multiple builds okay you can schedule multiple builds according to your requirement say if you this this is a weekly um, say 
undable okay it is a weakly fundable do you wanna change it something like that okay so you sh you can include the releases uh, here like you can include the branches here the main branch again you can exclude or anything you want you can mm, you give this property always equal to true or or not okay so this way you can schedule multiple builds too all right for now do not confuse you can just focus on one schedule which will help you understand how the schedules work in build pipeline okay so as simple as that so once you do complete this all you need to do is save the build and commit it to a main branch directly there is an option to commit uh, directly to the main branch you can add an optional description and save it but in case you know this is not a usual practice that everyone will follow but in case if you want to create a new branch for this commit also you can click this option and you can create a new pipeline sorry you can create a new branch by adding your branch name here and complete it okay F for now for simplicity i'm just committing it directly to the main branch and saving it all right is now saved now if i go to my branches you can see my pipeline is running okay it, it will take a it will take a few seconds um, because it's not a very complex uh, program so it will take few seconds to run once this is done it will okay here it is so once this, this is now completed you can see there's a green tick against it okay this is the build which i ran right now okay in case if you want to look at the scheduled uh, runs right you can see this is the schedule run that we have provided right now right you can see i have scheduled it on every day as a midnight build so this is the utc time that we are seeing here and uh, you can see the syntax that i have provided zero zero triple set which, which indicates so it runs on uh, daily midnight okay you can see the schedule runs here one another important thing to note here is like uh, if there is any build schedule in the ui right so if there is any sh um, schedule that is provided in ui the ui will always take precedence okay so um, the yaml will not take precedence that is very important to note many of the people forget okay many of the people go and make the changes in the yaml and come back and see um, the uh, pipeline will not run at the specified time in the yaml the reason is because you need to note if the, uh, there is a ui trigger schedule okay if there's a ui trigger scheduled the ui will always take precedence in order for your yaml pipeline to take precedence what you need to do is you need to delete that ui uh, trigger and then uh, update this yaml trigger okay only then your yaml will uh, start scheduled Sh only then your yaml will start running okay so this is how you can schedule the um, uh, builds or schedule your runs according to your requirement using yaml pipeline so this is a very basic example in case if you have if you want to try out a few complex examples let's try in our future videos but for now if you have any queries please let me know in the comment section i will try to answer it as soon as possible thank you friends